Hello. This video will cover the topics of what an application control channel is, why application control can be beneficial to your farm, and a high-level overview of how to create an application control channel. An application control channel is a way to store application settings for a certain implement and material type. Each channel is for a specific implement profile and saved to that profile. Application control channels are where settings for section control, rate control, equipment and implement offsets, and other features live. By creating a channel, you are saving your configuration to that implement profile so that you will not have to manually re-enter the settings every time you want to do work. Application control is a great way to save money and improve efficiency on your farm. By using section and rate control, you can more accurately see how the product is being applied to the crop and cut down on wasted resources by reducing overlap and rate inconsistencies. Making an application control channel is a way to streamline your workflow and reduce wasted time in the field. We will now cover, at a high level, the tasks of creating or modifying an application control channel. For this video, we will be creating a channel for a pole behind sprayer and will be utilizing Trimble's flow and application system, Field IQ. Tap on the implement tile. In the implement selection screen on Precision IQ, you see a list of implement profiles on your device. You can add an application control channel for an existing implement profile or a new profile. For this video, I have an implement already selected to add a channel to. Here is where you will see the application control channel displayed for your implement. Tap Edit. This will bring you to the summary page of the implement profile. Tap the application control page at the top. Here is where the existing channels for the implement profile will be. Be sure to have the application control on off toggle in the on position to be able to modify or add a channel. To change an existing channel, tap on the wrench then tap modify. For this video, we are going to add a channel to this implement profile. Tap the Add button at the bottom. Tap the box and then select Field IQ. Now you can enter the number of channels you are wanting to add. Next, tap the right arrow to get to the summary screen. Tap the Save button at the bottom right of the screen to add the channel. You will now be able to see the channel that you have created. Before we continue to modify the new channel, it is important to know that you will need to save your changes twice, once while on the channel configuration portal, and another time back in the implement settings portal. Now we will continue to the channel configuration portal to enter our channel settings. Tap the wrench and then tap modify. Here is where you can change the name of the channel. Select the material type based on what implement you added the channel to. Since we added this channel to a sprayer, we selected liquid as our material type. You can also toggle the switch to set this channel as your primary channel for this implement profile. Once done, tap the right arrow to continue. This page is where offsets can be inputted if the implement is not centered with the tractor. For left and right offsets, it is based on the point of view of looking at the implemented tractor from behind. Forward and back offset is the distance from the toolbar to where the work is being done. The next page is where section control settings can be inputted. Section control allows you to have control over individual parts or sections of an implement rather than a whole implement at once. Having section control allows you to save on your input cost by cutting down on overlap when applying material. The different tabs within section control page is where you can input settings based on your specific implement. The different tabs are the general settings tab, modules, width, wiring assignment, latencies, and overlaps. The rate control page is where the user can enter rate control settings based on preferences. Rate control allows the user to specify application volume and settings. The different tabs for rate control include the general settings tab, valve and drive, width, and adjustments. The next page is the adjustments page. The virtual tank or bin page is where you can enter information about your implement's tank to be able to accurately display its levels while applying. 
Toggle the switch and enter the settings if you wish to use the virtual tank. The last page is a summary page. Review your data and tap the save button at the bottom to save your changes to the channel. Remember, you will need to save here as well as in the implement settings portal, otherwise your channel will be lost. This will bring you back to the implement settings portal. Again, you will need to save your changes on this portal as well. Tap the summary page at the top right of your screen. Tap the save button at the bottom to save the changes to the implement profile. The channel has now been added to your implement profile. You can see the new application control channel settings displayed here. In this video, we covered what an application control channel is, why application control can be beneficial to your farm, and a high level overview of how to create an application control channel. Thanks for watching and check out Trimble Agriculture's YouTube channel for more videos.